Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to continue on with our upgrading of the Legend Snowmobile trailer. Now, right here what we can see is I have a rough battery box we're going to use. Uh, this is a continuation of the light series. Okay, we did the lights in the last video. Now, what we're going to do today, probably be one, maybe two videos here, is I need to get the battery box and then I need to make a little amount for the inverter on the wall here. Now as you can see, there's a little bit of old silicone here. And one of the storage boxes that came with this trailer was actually <coughs> already here. It ran to about that spot there. There's a silicone line. You can't quite see it on the bottom. Uh, maybe on the roof here, you can see it. And then it went straight back to here. So the plan is to get the two deep cycle batteries inside the storage box and the 3000 watt inverter inside the storage box both tucked away and hidden for just so that they're not visible just to keep the aesthetics of the trailer nice um another reason we want them up is so that right here you can see the summit when we come around here with the slide right we don't want anything down low on the ground um, if it's down low, we're going to bump it with the snowmobile. So the goal is to keep everything up high in the air. And that way, nothing gets in the way of the sleds when they're coming in out of this trailer. Drive in, drive out. No extra effort required. So this is one of three storage boxes going up. It will be mainly for the batteries and the inverter. And then we will have two more going along the opposite wall of the lights. Now, right here we can see I have a 3000 watt inverter right here. It's also a charger. We will be setting this up for shore power as well to charge the batteries when it's parked and or at the house. Okay, uh, here is the storage box right here. You can see legend box. This is the one that was mounted already when the trailer came. Okay, so the batteries are going to roughly go right here and the inverter charger is going to go right there. Okay guys, just going to show you how I'm going to do this here. Now, earlier I did put some rib nuts in the wall here and I will be showing how that's done uh, a little later in the video with the ones over here. These ones unfortunately I did not get on camera. Okay, but I do have some rib nuts in the wall. Now these holes are not translated into the box now i need to get a hole saw in the box and cut a couple holes through so i can so i can send some bolts through and get this battery box on the wall now here's how i'm going to actually translate these holes into the box i have my little laser mounted on the on the wood door here okay it's the front drive out door now we can see the laser is actually perfectly level the trailer sitting still is not but this line doesn't much matter. That's just gonna be my reference point. I'm gonna take a tape measure. When it sits still, because I'm bouncing the trailer, I'm gonna take a measure from there up. I'm gonna write that down, and from there up, that's gonna give me um, my height inside the box when I mount it. And then down here, where the box is not on the wall, I'm just gonna take a pencil, and I can erase this later. And I'm just gonna put a little, a little line on the wall there. That's going to line up the stud. Now we can see the trailer's not level because it doesn't line up with this bolt. And it's on the other side up there. But that's not the issue here. As long as we don't move anything, it will all be good. Now I can see up top here we have a little silicone line. So I know the box will be right there when I stick it back up. So I'll put a little mark right there. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to grab a tape measure. Oh. Just gonna grab a tape measure and measure from here up. Gonna write it down right there. From here up to the second one. Gonna write it down and I'll erase that all later. And then right there we can see I have a 1 8 line and a 1 and 1 8 line. So what I've done is I have this set up. Now the LED lights are making this black line again that's moving on the camera. But so what I did was I set the tape up and I have to go 1 8 up. So I just moved an eighth of an inch and I marked a line. Then I have to go one and one eighth up. So I moved one and one eighth and I marked a line. So that should give me the two holes for the battery box. 
And on the opposite side, I already have them marked. I didn't actually finish the holes all the way because I don't want to hit the bottom of the trailer floor. I just have it propped up a little bit. And there we go. I'm just going to tip it up and finish those holes. Well, that didn't quite go as planned. Not sure if it was due to the shaking or, or the laser moving when I walked around or I just missed my mark. But only one of the four holes actually hit perfectly. So I am actually going to have to take this off and just ream the holes out a little bit bigger. Not really a big deal. Not as clean as I would have liked it, but... Again, it's not the end of the world. As long as I get everything up and mounted, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take a couple minutes here, take this back off, ream the holes out a little bit bigger. I ream the holes out a little bit and it does fit. Now, is it perfect? No, does it work? Yes. And you know what? That's really what I'm going for here. Not quite perfection. Although I did try to get the holes nice and lined up. To avoid this the second time, I'm actually going to take the hole saw for the steel plate um, and I'm going to drill through the cabinet right now. I'm going to run a drill hole through there, up top, and then on the edge here I actually have to move over a bit because I did look at the center of the stud where those self tappers go through and if we look on this one here they were actually on the edge here so I'm just going to move the hole over a little bit so that I can get it in the center channel of it just to get the riv nut a little more secure now let me just take a second here and show you what a riv nut is set this in here now a riv nut can we get this to focus okay it's like a rivet that has threads on the inside and what we're going to do is we're going to stick it in the wall use the tool pull it tight like a rivet but instead of pulling two pieces of material together all we're actually going to do is put a little nut in the wall that we can thread a bolt into just like these two right here. So inside in the stud we have little riv nuts attached. Now to save myself from taking all the wall paneling off this time, what I'm going to do is take a hole saw right here, send the hole saw through to get my center hole that way I don't have to redrill all my holes and have them miss in the cabinet second round through. And then once I pull the cabinet back off, I'm going to put the hole saw tip back on and I'm going to clear out the wood between the stud and the cabinet. And then I'm going to install the rivnut into the, into the stud directly. I will have to drill a slightly bigger 3 8 hole to accompany the rivnut. As you can see, I have my little holes poking through one, two, three four yeah that's really bad that's why we're doing it this way this time five and six so all i'm going to do here okay try not to break right. perfect feel that little bit out of the saw and now we got a nice little hole now i'm going to do that for the next six is take our rib nut here Thread it on the end of the tool. Okay. Just take the tool, stick it in the wall. And then compress. So we got five more to do. Six, six bolts into rib nuts. Then we got some studs welded on the other side of the plate and then just painted to isolate the steel and the aluminum a little bit. I am going to take this cord and run it behind the balancer trim here, okay? We will lose the ability of the light switch, but the goal is that we will just turn the lights on and off when the inverter is on or off.
Okay, that was very difficult to film by myself, so all that footage is probably garbage. Anyways, what did we do here? Okay, we have the power wire tucked up in through there. Runs behind the balancer. But we see it right up in there. Okay. Behind all this trim. Little rubber grommet there. And the power cord passes through. Just gonna hook the power and ground up here ahead of time to the inverter so it's easier once it's installed. Just like so. Like so. Yep, good enough. Yep, good and tight. Just give that a little wiggle, give that a little wiggle. That is good to go. Just gonna take some shore power here and I'm going to Attach that ahead of time in the AC input side, okay, AC input, okay, that will charge this inverter or just act as a pass-through for the inverter. So we can see here, hard to see, but we got our, hope I tip it down a bit, we got our neutral, live, and our ground. So I'm just going to hook those up, white, black, green and white, black, and green. All the batteries are in the same orientation, so we'll go like this. Yeah. Positive. <laughs> That's a fully charged battery. <laughs> that just loaded up the capacitors, let me tell you. <laughs> no doubt. We're shorter than that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It looks so nice and fresh, eh? So you know what you're doing here, right? With your wiring? Nope. Or you explode? Hey guys, we're back here a couple days, a couple days later. We have our battery box here and inverter. You see we got the inverter on, we're running the lights off of that. Our batteries, still have to get the bungee cord to uh, hold the battery secure in there. Again, lights are plugged in with the orange cord. We have our little charging adapter. I'm gonna secure that a little better too yet. And then we also have a power bar if we need it plug anything else in we have right here is that shore power line that plugs in to an extension cord outside I still have to tuck that up nicely I got to get some clamps to do that so that will be coming I'm not going to record that uh, but that will be it for the inverter installation if you guys like this video please leave a like if you want to see more of what we got coming don't forget to get some subscribed